For many migrant and refugee women living in Australia, being a long-distance caregiver is part of our everyday life. Long-distance caregiving means providing care and support to a person who lives far from you. It could be your parents, another family member, a friend, or any person in your life that needs assistance. Long-distance caregiving can take many forms. You may help with finances, paying bills, or sending money. You may offer emotional support by staying in touch with regular phone or video calls. Sometimes you might be expected to provide practical support like organising in-home care or arranging medical appointments. Caring for those who are far away can affect us in many ways. It can make us feel good and give us a sense of fulfilment. Other times it can be challenging and it may impact our mental health. You may experience guilt for not being there or because you can't provide immediate help. Or feel grief because you miss that person. You may feel anxious about not knowing if the person you care for is okay. Being expected to provide financial support can also add pressure to your own finances. And having to combine caregiving duties with your work, personal life and other commitments can feel overwhelming. Experiencing these feelings is common, especially for women who are often responsible for most of the long distance care. So how can you look after yourself? You can start by acknowledging the impact that long distance caregiving has on you. If possible, try to make time for yourself. You can talk about what you feel with people you trust, such as friends or relatives who are long distance caregivers too. Connecting with others who have experienced something similar can be helpful. You can also look for community groups in your area or online. You can seek help from mental health professionals. Your doctor can check if you're eligible for lower cost services. And don't forget that your caregiving efforts are valuable, even from a distance. Caring for your own mental health and well-being is essential. And it's okay to prioritise it, because you are important and valuable.